Hello, my name is Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're looking at the AMD Athlon 2 X2 255 dual core processor. This particular processor is the AMD Athlon X2 255. It operates at a speed of 3.1 GHz using the latest 45 nanometer technology. It has 2 megabytes of L2 data cache and it is a socket AM3 processor. It also has a TDP of 65 watts. As with AMD's latest processors, they have stuck with the uh, continuous style that they've used in the past. If you remember back to the old Athlon XP days, it was just a bare core. These days they do have this heat spreader shim on top. This is obviously to help dissipate heat and to protect the core. As you can see on top of the shim, just like some of the previous styling with AMD, it has all of the relevant information on there. It tells us that it's the AMD Athlon 2. Underneath it does say that it's the 255 model. If you actually tap some of these codes into uh, some websites on the internet, it will actually tell you exactly what the codes mean, what stepping it is, and so forth. As said, this processor is a AM3 processor, so obviously it uses 938 pins. Looking at processors out there on the market today, there's only two real manufacturers that you have to worry about, Intel and AMD. They are the only manufacturers out there that uh, manufacture processors for the desktop market. AMD have always been a favourite in my mind compared to Intel. Intel, most people believe, are better for video rendering um, and, and that kind of graphics work, that kind of thing. But AMD have always been, in my opinion, a better all-around chip, especially for gaming. With regards to the price difference between AMD and Intel, Intel always come up a lot more expensive. Even looking at some of the equivalent chips to this AMD Athlon 2 X2255, this is a very, very cheap chip compared to the Intel equivalents. When you take a look at the benchmark results, you can see that the results that we actually obtained were really, really good for a dual-core processor, especially 3.1 gigahertz. AMD, it seems that they're coming back into the market. And when you look at this compared to the Intel equivalents, this is a damn sight cheaper. The only thing that I was disappointed with, I say disappointed, is I looked around and it did seem that some of these uh, dual-core processors you can actually unlock to tri-core and even quad-core. Sadly, the 255 doesn't seem to be one of those processors. Having a look around, there's not uh, any people that I could see who have actually managed to unlock these from a dual-core to anything else. But, you don't buy one of these processors for that. It is luck of the draw, so you can't really blame AMD for it. Overall though, I am really, really happy with the processor, the speed of it, and the results that we got out of it. So I'm gonna have to give it four out of five stars.